Hi guys, this is the next video number three in my series on how to make a transcription drawing. I've been working from this Peter Paul Rubens hippo hunt from 1615, and I have been trying to get sort of the gesture of it with my vine charcoal. And I wanted to give you a few tips as you continue your own drawing. For one, I don't want you to focus in on a single area and then develop it very slowly and then move out from there or from move from left to right. I want you to think of the whole thing as a whole piece that's functioning together. One of the things that can happen is if you work in detail on one area, when you get up to another corner, suddenly you realize that it's out of proportion, that things don't fit and you have to erase the part that you worked so diligently on. By working the whole thing um, at once, you can begin to see the relationships and then when one thing changes, the other thing changes and it's a little bit more in harmony that way. Um, now, another thing to do is to, to help you begin to see how you're progressing is to make a mark on the halfway point of your picture to know roughly, you don't have to get out your measuring tools, but roughly where's halfway horizontally and roughly where's halfway vertically. And then to fold your paper or to make marks on your image so you have a sense of where that division is. And then you can begin to see where things might not quite work out. So I noticed, for instance, when I did that, that this guy's head is way too close to the middle and I'm gonna have to lower it and move him down. The other thing is that I want you to focus a lot on the negative spaces. I think that's now a term that, that is perhaps outdated, but the shapes in between the figures. So for instance, there's this wonderful little hole underneath this horse's head that um, I can take my eraser and pull out. So I can find that hole and there's another hole there and there's another hole here and those negative spaces and there's a wonderful space right here between these two horse heads um, will really help you get things in proportion and see things more abstractly instead of focusing on things like the ear of a horse, the details and see the basic patterns of shapes that are emerging in this picture. Again, I'm going to um, use my little tool of Oh, roughly where's the halfway point to see where some of my things might be off. And one thing I've noticed is that this cloak is probably starting, um, almost certainly starting too low. And so this whole guy is going to need to become a little bit smaller and a little bit closer to the edge. And then that yellow cloak will start there. And then his jackety thing will come over here. So, um, and I'm going to use that paper towel if you have a chamois cloth or an eraser, those work too. Um, and at this point, I want to begin to not so much, well, slow down a little bit and to think a little bit more carefully about some of these shapes. Um, I have to say it is really hard to draw on video. I feel very self-conscious and this feels super awkward and weird. Um, this is worse than even demoing in front of you guys in class where I inevitably make everything look uh, wrong. So here I go making probably a total fool myself on video three, but um, doing my best to help give you guys some tips. So you'll notice that I'm not, when I say I'm working the whole thing at once, I am, I'm not literally going to here to here super quickly, although in the beginning you want to. I am slowing down a little bit, but I'm not getting caught up in really small specific details. That is going to happen potentially later. And if I go long enough on this, on this image, feel free to use a lot of erasing and reworking. And you can experiment with pushing harder on your charcoal and getting nuances of things, of the character of the line, I mean. Um, okay. And now I noticed when I got this, this back of the uh, horse's leg, right in, I sort of was putting it in here, I noticed that the dog's back leg is too far down and I've got to sort of move that up. Beep, 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 beep. I do that in my classes. I make those kind of annoying sounds sometimes and I, so I'm doing it here, okay. And now I'm gonna move him down just a little bit, even though I, it's hard when you kind of like something and I kind of like the way he was sitting, but I do think he's a little too big. 
He does have a super weird forehead, Rubens. You did a super weird foreheaded guy over here. <clears throat> it's a little hard doing this, um, holding this up with one hand and then my paper's kind of moving around a little bit on the board. This is Mr. Bearded Dude's head. And then I also let my eye focus on some of these shapes. Again, kind of what we think of as negative shapes. Oh, well, in this case, everything's packed so it's an animal, but it's not as clear from my Xerox copy of this painting what it is. Um, what animal is that? Is that part of the hippo? Or is that a furry? No, 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 that's a furry. I'm seeing it and then I'm not seeing it. Anywho, you get the idea. I'll check back with you in a little bit. 